everyone happy friday we're actually filming this on the fourth of july so we hope that you're having or had a good fourth of july hence the red lips and the blue shirt carly's not as festive i'm not i have red lips but i decided with the coral and then i don't really have blue or red so i'm wearing white she's a little boring but this is the fenty uncensored liquid lipstick and i forget how good it is if you haven't tried it that's not included in this weekly favorites but it's like all-time favorite lipstick for me one of them so anyways, we'll get into it. First up is a jewelry line um, collection by Danny Barbe. Is what you think how you say her name? Or just Barb? Barb. Danny Barb. Danny, please let us know. I know, Danny, let us name. know. Um, we write for her blog and we do some fun DIY projects on her website. And so she sends us jewelry to feature in the posts. And her jewelry is so stunning. Like, absolutely amazing. All time favorite jewelry. I think we've talked about it in another weekly favorite. We probably have. And we are constantly wearing her rings. I'm wearing one right now. And we'll insert a couple pictures so you guys can see and get a close up. But they're so, she like hand sets the gems. Mm -hmm. Um, so they look handmade, they look unique, they're gold, they're just so stunning, so easy for everyday wear, and we just love her jewelry, and we love her so much, so we wanted to give her new summer collection a shout out in our weekly favorites. Amazing. Okay, next up, we have some food, so let's start with these. Oh, we do have. This is quite the find. So we follow a food blog called The Impulsive Buy because we're just foodies like we're that. Like five or Junk six years. Foodies like, like that. We are longtime fans of him. Longtime fans. And one of their writers did a review on the um, pistachio Oreo thins. And I immediately sent it to Britta. He gave them like a nine. Like yeah, very high. He's very picky. Yeah. Sorry if you hear Luna. I know. She's um, wrestling around. Nine out of ten. And I sent it to Britta and I was like, did you know they made pistachio Oreos? Because if you did not know this, which you probably wouldn't, pistachio is like my all-time favorite flavor. I had pistachio ice cream in high school and it immediately became my all-time favorite ice cream flavor. And then anytime I see anything pistachio, I'm like, please. Because it's like that almondy flavor. It's so good. It's, it's more of like a sweet almond. Flavor. Yeah, I like I don't know how you describe because obviously most of it is like a faux pistachio flavor. But I had to find them and we could not find them anywhere in California. And I went to Michigan last weekend to celebrate the fourth and I was like, I have to check if they have pistachio Oreos because it was a different part of the country and they did. So I brought them back and they are the best Oreos I've ever had, for sure. Without a doubt, I have no trouble saying that. We have tried every single flavor of Oreo. No, we haven't, like, they, they've been rolling them out Oh so yeah, quickly. recently we haven't. We can't but, keep up. Like, up until now, the gingerbread Oreos from like four Christmases ago were my favorite, but these are the absolute best. They and I always phenomenal. loved the thins because I'm more cookie, yeah. not as much cream slash person. I yeah. don't like the cream as much. Yeah. And I feel like the ratio in these is so much better it's because it's so more cookie less good. cream. Like, this cookie is perfect. And we've been trying to stay away from Oreo in recent like months because we're trying to eat more clean. But I will buy these. <laughs> No. Luna, come here. I will buy these again and again. Hopefully they come to California soon. I read on that blog that they are permanent and they're going to be re like all over the country. Yes. People so, love them. Hopefully we see them soon and if you see them where you live, pick them up immediately because they're amazing. Okay, next up is a beauty skincare product. I think it's our only skincare mm -hmm. beauty product this week. Um, this is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask detoxify and brighten and first of all like when if you watch our instagram stories ever we do a lot of like unboxings on there one second luna come here um okay and so this is when we first got this in the mail from them and um, we noticed that the component like the packaging is so nice it's, it's very beautiful. weighted it's metal i think the whole thing is like metal it's not plastic or if it is it's really heavy plastic and one thing we liked about this was it doesn't really have a scent like the only scent is kind of earthy, which I would imagine is just the ingredients. Just from the ingredients, yeah. yeah. it's not like overly scented, and I love, um, most mud masks I feel like are so thick and they go on really thick. This one is very thin, and it comes with this brush that applies the mask perfectly. Like, I'm sure it would apply fine with your fingers mm -hmm. or however you apply masks, but this mask like makes it so a little goes such a long way you can get such a thin even layer across your whole face i love that it um it dries down fairly quickly so i feel like it's working really quickly and it definitely left my skin so much brighter and i just love this mask at first it burned a little bit but um i find that to be the case with most mud masks because i am allergic to something in mm -hmm. at least my um, dermatologist told me to like stay away from mud or clay masks um, so I'm assuming that's just why, but I still use them here and there because they do work so well. 
um, and it's not like a crazy allergy, but I just love this. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a new mask just to like tighten your pores, clean everything out. I feel like this is really good for the summertime because we always wear like sunscreen and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great mask. Okay, next is another food item. We don't have the box anymore, but I have one here. This is a newer Trader Joe's item. It's the Trader Joe's These Peanuts Go on a Date Bar. They always have the cutest name. I know, if you're familiar with the um, um, the Walks Into a Bar Bars by Trader yeah. Joe's, they have like strawberry, apple, pumpkin. pumpkin. The, oh, Rune, she's, she's so sassy. sassy. Um, that's like their OG bars by Trader Joe's brand. So they brought these out and they're basically like peanuts, dates, well what's in them? Oh shoot, I don't have the, I don't well, have the we'll box. We'll link them down below. I think yeah, it's, but it's like, it's peanut butter, peanuts, date, mm -hmm. um, date paste, which I think is what yeah. makes them so mm -hmm. chewy. They're way more chewy than Laura bars. Um, but also at the same time like almost creamy. Yeah. It's really hard to describe but they taste like dessert. Like if you are trying to eat healthy and you need something sweet, like this bar tastes like a dessert. It's so good and I love them for breakfast because they are so like um, dense. Yeah. But they definitely help you keep going. So yeah, they're healthy, they have a low ingredient list, and they're phenomenal. A, a great trend. And cheaper than fine. Laura Bars, which mm -hmm. we still buy Laura Bars. Yeah, we do. Bar, Laura Bars because Laura we, bars. Love, we love them. We love them. But these are just a good alternative. Okay, last is a book, and I know we haven't shared that many books because we suck at reading. I love reading, I know. and I used to be so good at it, and I would read very often, um, but I'm trying to get back into it, and I purchased this book because I had to. It's Marriage Vacation from the show Younger, if you're unfamiliar with Younger. Well, we've talked about it in a weekly favorite. We have. It is one of our all-time favorite shows. Like, aside from Dancing with the Stars, it's probably our favorite show. Yeah. And it's so, so good. And basically, if you don't watch Younger, if you're not familiar, um, they work at like a publishing company, um, like the girls do. And Charles is like the head honcho, like his family owns, owns the company. The company. Yeah. And so his ex-wife writes a book about their marriage called Marriage Vacation on the show. And the people of Younger decided to make it into its own book, which is so clever. I love that they did that because it kind of like allows people watching the show to be more connected to the character. It's like fan fiction, but made into a tangible book. It's yeah. crazy. It's so good. And the book, I've like read the reviews on Amazon because I think it was $20 and I'm so cheap that I'm like, oh, $20 for a book? Like, really? But I had to read it because I just love the show so much. And I finished it in a day because it's such an easy read. Um, not in the fact that it's like short. I think it's like an average length mm -hmm. book of over 200 pages. But it's just easy. You can just keep going and going and going. And um, I found it to be just, um, at the beginning, it was slow to start. I won't lie. A little slow to start. But then it like picked up and I really, really loved her story. What is, oh my god. Sorry, Luna is growling at my feet. So Pauline is the author of the book on the show and then she changes all the characters' names, but you definitely understand who she's talking about throughout the whole book on um, the characters on the show. So I really loved learning more of like Charles's backstory with Pauline and highly recommend even and if you even don't. even the novel, they like the character wrote the actual book. Yeah. Like, they didn't even change her name. No, they did just such a good job with it. I felt like it it works really well with the show, but if you don't watch Younger, I think you would still enjoy this. It's like a fun summer read, very light. Um, it's I didn't even talk about what the book is about. Basically, to sum it up, it's about this girl that um, takes like a year hiatus from her marriage and her life in New York City, and she does a bunch of traveling and things like that. And so it's kind of like an eat, pray, love situation. If you liked that book, I've never read it, but I know you would like this. Okay, that's it for this week. We had a great week, and I hope you guys did too. And let us know things you've been loving.